Hi folks, it's Kyle Chang at Kidney Journeys. Thanks for joining me today. So let's talk medications today and why medications are important to you as a dialysis patient. So even pre-dialysis medications could be important. Some of the things that we commonly take are uh, heart medication or blood pressure medication to manage our blood pressure. Um, Long-term blood pressure can affect your kidneys negatively and then make you go into failure quicker. So you want to keep and manage those blood pressure values uh, way ahead of time. I've had hypertension since I was 25. However, none of the doctors before really told me the consequences of not managing blood pressure. They just told me to take pills and do it. In a more holistic way, things about diet, if you have low sodium diets, that could help not raise your blood pressure. If you are drinking a lot of water, that could help process the sodium out and other waste in your products if you're pre-dialysis and if you're exercising. So regular exercise helps with the cardiovascular level, helps your lungs, help your heart to function better and those allow the blood circulation to carry throughout your system much better. Carries the oxygen and the medication that you need much better throughout your system brings you to a better level if you're paying attention. So I don't always encourage doing medications, but if you're pre-dialysis, sometimes you do need it and it's more helpful than not. So blood pressure medication is one of those. Um, there are diabetic medications to keep your blood sugar in check. Um, those are important to keep up with and it's important for diabetics to do your little blood glu glucose test, do the pen test, Make sure that your blood glucose is maintained at correct levels. If it's not, diabetics also helps um, to progress into later stages of kidney failure and kidney disease. And you do want to avoid that as well. So my mom's a diabetic. I'm not. Um, they've done many tests on me, but I'm predisposed. So I always watch my sugars. I watch my carbohydrates because carbohydrates turns into sugars. And again, regular exercise, drinking water also helps for diabetics. Um, there are many other health conditions that could lead to kidney failure, such as heart failure, lupus, um, any number of different chronic kidney, kidney diseases, even cancers, um, and sometimes vice versa. So when you have kidney disease, it does affect other organs. So you want to pay attention to your total health as much as possible. Diet is always important. Um, it's important, again, to keep up with your medications, whether it is uh, blood pressure, glucose management, and diabetes my management. Um, if you're a dialysis patient, you also want to pay attention to your hemoglobin levels. Sometimes you may need medication to help bring your hemoglobins up or maintain those levels. For me, I'm anemic, and it's not associated with iron because I can fix iron with diet most of the times, um, but hemoglobin, I do need medication to sort of help keep that, and that's part of kidney failure. So I get regular injections. A lot of times clinics will start with uh, what's called epogen, give you injections of epogen. It could take up to two weeks for each injection to take place, so you don't want those levels to get too low. Aranes is another one that works, and that actually works better for me with peritoneal dialysis, my clinic allows me to self-inject Aranes. So I get my prescriptions for Aranes, I bring it home, I keep it in the refrigerator, and when it's time to inject it every two weeks, um, I will go ahead and self-inject it, and then that helps keep my hemoglobins up. Now, low hemoglobin is one of the factors that can give you a lot of fatigue. If you are tired a lot. You might want to check your hemoglobin level as well as something like iron and proteins, albumin, um, to make sure that's not the reasons why you're being tired a lot. Toxins can also be a factor in fatigue. So these medications all help you. And again, we don't want to take medications. We don't want a lot of them, but sometimes it actually does a little bit more good for you than not having certain medications. So Hopefully this has helped. If it does, 
do click like on this. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and um, take a look at some of the other videos and content on my page. Join me at kidneyjourneys.com. And then if you have any questions or suggestions for other folks, do comment below. Thanks for joining me today at Kidney Journeys, and I hope you do your treatments so that you could do the things you like with the folks that you enjoy doing them with.